All right. Uh, the company who um, sent me that little uh, clock, remember that uh, the ESP32 clock that had the weather and everything on it? That's kind of a cute little project. I really liked it. They asked me if there was anything else in their uh, catalog that I might be interested in. And there was a couple things. Um, one of them was back ordered, so I didn't get that, but they, they sent this one to me. So let's take a look at it. Um, it is an ES Play Micro V2. So I think it's an ESP32 product as well. Um, and I was hoping it was a kit, but it comes all put together, except for every, you need to take the little uh, the little paper off and stuff. But anyway, so uh, that's a bit disappointing for this channel. Um, fun for me. <laughs> but let's take a look at it uh, in case you uh, like these little game type things. And uh, the thing to do is to get, get this paper off. These screws are kind of in the way. And I think there's a protective uh, layer over the display as well. So I think the best thing to do is to take these little, uh, take the screws off. Uh, let's see what kind of screwdriver would work best for this. The other kit that I wanted was a, um, was a little clock. It's got a cute little clock though. Um, unlike anything I've built before. So I'm hoping that maybe someday when they have stock of that, we can get one of those. Cause I think that's a really, that would be a really, really fun first project for somebody. It spells out the time in words. So the time is <laughs> it's kind of fun. Okay. Well, there we go. There's a battery stuck on with some glue or some double sticky tape probably. Oh, there's a little, uh, a little flash card on here. So it's got a bunch of stuff in it. So what is this thing? Um, it's a game. It's like a Game Boy type thing, but I think it has like tons of little, tons of games in it. Um, and it has a, uh, it has a, a Wi-Fi connection to it, which is kind of strange. I'm not sure what that is for. Hmm. Or maybe they just wanted the, uh, maybe it's a good form factor stuff for, I don't know. That's an interesting choice. Uh, what else is on here? We need to take the Let's cross the all right, there we go. Yeah, see now we can take the we can take this off the display. There we go. And that's not held in there with double sticky. It's just kind of floating around in there. I might fix that. Might put a little drop of something in there. Hold that in place. And let's take the battery off for now. There we go. So we'd have a connector here that looks like it's for programming. Yeah, this is a uh, I squared C connector. Hmm, that's interesting. I squared C. What if this is a general purpose board for something, and then they just they just reused it for this particular purpose here? Uh, so where does power come in? Power comes in. Uh, am I blind? Where's the power come in? Oh, here. Here's an oscillator. This is a USB to serial chip, uh, one of those 340 chips. Um, this looks like it's a I squared C fan out chip. Um, and that looks like it's a, sorry, I'm in the way of the lens. Can't read the part number on that. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about that. And it's another Philips chip, a lot of Philips chips on this board. Anyway, let me, uh, I don't like this. I don't like it flapping around. I do not like it flapping around. I think I will. All right, let's get the, oh, shoot, drop that on the floor. Let's get this, uh, Try to do this again. Go back. Go back. Oh, 
get that, right? Just one second. Alright, and there we go. Uh, where is it? Where's my There we go. Nice red color. I like the red. Oh, it's one on the back. Does it matter? I don't care about the back. I don't care about the back. I'm not going to make more work for myself. It doesn't matter. Or will it? Will it look better from this? Ah, it'll look better. If I turn it sideways and I look underneath, it'll look a little better if I do this. And i got to wait for the stupid glue gun to heat up anyways. Sorry, there's no story time. Story time is only when I solder. <laughs> the only time in my my brain is not doing anything, so it can do other things like tell stories. All right, should we turn it on? It's a go button. Here we go. Oops. Oh, look at that. Super Mario. So, uh, one player game. Oh, look at him go. All right, how do we start him up? Do we push these buttons? There we go. One player, two player, one player. There's go. And, yep, yeah, make him run, make him, where's the jump button? Up, oh, nope. Jump, there we go, jump. <laughs> what fun. Boing, boing. Can I go down the tube? Hey, go down. Wanna go on the tube? Maybe that tube's not running. I don't remember. Uh, oh well, there's Super Mario. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, how do we... The button at the top... Oh, there's buttons at the top too for race driving games or something. Um, I guess I could read the instructions if there were any. How do we get out of here? Let's push the reset button. Is there a reset button? Hmm. All right. Um, I went to the um, Maker Fabs website and there's a link to a um, Hackaday uh, project, and it's the ES Play Micro, which is which is which is what we have. So it's a whole write-up on the uh, on the project and how it was designed and stuff. Um, let's see here. What does it say? He, details for the board: ESP32 W Rover, dual core processor with four megabytes of flash. Four megab so a lot of times, you know, you buy these things like this, and you say, oh, what, what, I, what could I do instead? Could I turn this into a robot controller, you know? Could I do other things? It might be a great platform. Um, not, just, not just to play games, but it might be a great platform. Let's see here. Board, view, firmware available, audio player. Oh, it has an audio player, too. There was a connector on here for headphones, so that's interesting. New algorithm. Now available at Maker Fabs, they're they're producing it. Okay, uh, lipo charger case. Uh, despite blah blah blah, then a lot of people comment on it. You can read about that if you want. Uh, let's see here instructions. The instructions button is not loaded. Let me see if I can find instructions. <laughs> All right, I think if you hit this button down here. And then you get to this menu, and then you go down and say save and exit. No, just say exit. I don't want to save it. Just say exit. Hit the middle button. And then it comes up and it says, ah, there's eight games available. Now, I think there's a bunch of games that you can download to this thing, but this is what it comes as default. Uh, so Nintendo, Audio Player, ColecoVision, Game Gear, Sega Master. Very cool. Oh, Game Boy Color. Cool, Game Boy. All right, let's do Game Boy. So Game Boy, I think you do A, select, B, resume. So I think A is this button? No, didn't do that right. Let's see here. Exit is this middle button. I think this might be the A button. 
Okay, so we'll do Game Boy. Oh, there we go. Firefighter Rockman World. I don't I don't know what any of these games are. Rockman World. Rockman World. Uh game start. Go. Oh. All right, I didn't know that one. Let's see here. Uh, exit. Let's do Game Boy Color. Let's do that one. Crystal version Pokemon. Let's do that one. Well, that looks like something. There we go. So I don't know if any of these games. These came way after my days. <laughs> I've played Zelda and stuff. Um, oh, there he is, Pokemon. Pikachu, that's Pikachu. Probably if you have headphones on, it's making a noise. Let me try that out. There we go. New game. We got a uh, boy or a girl. Oh boy. I'm Imsa guy. What? You woke me up? Will you check the clock for me? Oh man. Yeah, whatever. How many minutes? Whoa, zero? I overslept. Welcome to the world Pokemon. This is Oak. He's Pokemon Professor. Anyway, you get it. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of games in here. Uh, let's see, exit. I didn't put that, I didn't, I didn't uh, glue that screen very square in this thing. It's a little bit crooked. Oh, well. ColecoVision. See, I've never had a ColecoVision. No files found. Oh, okay, no files found. Oh, well. Anyway, you get the idea. It does have, uh, it does have audio and it has a whole bunch of games. And uh, I don't remember the price. I think it's about 30 bucks, something like that. Um, they have another one, too, that I was interested in. I think it's even cheaper. It's like $10. It's like Game Boy. It's got like 400 games or something ridiculous. So, so that's kind of fun. Anyway, nice little form factor. Um, charge up battery. The battery looks great. Um, little color display. Yeah, looks pretty cool. And if you glue your screen down... Screw it, uh, glue it down straighter than I did. I'm going to have to remove this one. I moved over a bit. 